Okay, um, doing a tool bag review and, um, or tool bag update. Uh, so yeah, so we'll get started. First thing I was, um, uh, or my tool bag, uh, it's a Husky, um, pretty much take it everywhere with me, um, especially if I'm going on, uh, on, uh, field repairs without my work truck, um, or if I'm going to go uh, swap out equipment or swap out a work truck for another guy's work truck. Like, if the guy has a cracked radiator or a misfire, you know, or if the transmission is going out or something like that, I'll go take a spare truck and pick his truck up and just put a Band-Aid on whatever, whatever's going on with that truck and limp it back and this is a toolbox or tool bag I use. Um, or if I'm going out of town, I take tools with me. You know, you, you never know when you need a tool. Uh, or, you know, just, just get get to the parts store, you know, get by or whatever. You can just band aid something. I can fix just about anything with this tool bag. Uh, so, yeah, so let's get started. Uh, first thing, gloves. Uh, sometimes you got to pick something up heavy or not heavy. Yeah, heavy or hot or both. Or crawl around and and you know like on a on a work truck or a bed of a truck, and those things are made out of steel or ladder racks are made out of steel and they're they're pretty hot, <laughs> especially without uh, work gloves. Uh, but yeah, uh, take uh, I take work gloves with me. Um, second thing is uh, you won't see me without this thing. Uh, it's an impact driver. Uh, has a three eight uh. Three, it's a driver on there, but uh, it's a impact driver. You can take off the bit, boom. But they make drill bits and wire brushes for them. Everything like that is a very versatile tool. Uh, that's that's why that's why I use it. And it's the first generation, and or I think it's the first generation. But I use it. I use it a lot. I yeah, it's it's my best friend. <laughs> Um, and then second, uh, is the Milwaukee Ratchet. Uh, yeah, greatest invention ever. Uh, it's like one of my favorite tools. Uh, you won't see me without this, this combo. <laughs> it just makes everything quicker. You know, you're not dicking around with the fucking bolt or whatever. Uh, and I carry mini wrenches uh met metric and standard uh it's not a complete set on any of them but if you have them together they make a complete set make a complete set um but uh i usually carry a um crescent wrenches with me just to fill in the ones that you know don't have the size but i also carry uh just regular size wrenches so I can lock them in to, to these ones, you know, just do the, do the wrench trick, you know, to do that, you know, to make them longer. Um, they hold up, they're pretty tough. Um, I've been using them for two years. I've only, I've only, uh, kind of messed up the tan. I don't know if you can see it. It's, it has a little mar right there. Um, or no, that's, oh yeah, yeah, that's it. You kind of see it. Yeah, come on, camera. Work with me. But, uh, yeah, right there. You can kind of see it. But other than that, you know, like, they hold up. They get the job done. Uh, uh, got these a couple months ago. They're Nipex. Uh, they're pretty good. Um, I, I use them for everything. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I got the ones with the angles, too, just because it's a little bit more versatile. You can use it to pry stuff out. And, uh, yeah, that's the really only, only reason why I got them, because they're, they're very useful, too. Uh, especially when you need to, like, get into a, like, if there's a ball right there, you know, you can still get into something and pull it out. And, yeah, or you can, like, grab, you know, if the wall's right there, you can grab some and still be able to push down. 
uh, crescent wrench. Um, yeah, these are the crescent wrenches I carry. Uh, not very big, but you know, <laughs> it's not the size of the tool; it's how you use it. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, I'm just kidding. Uh, some snap-on dikes. These are these are really good. These are my favorite tool. You can kind of see the part number. I don't know what the last two is. It's like F two at the end. I think I don't know. It, it rubbed off. But if you don't have a pair, get one. You know they're great. They're a little bit expensive, like sixty bucks, but well worth the money. You know it's it. Yeah, they cut everything. You could probably cut a penny with that. <laughs> uh, uh, here goes my rackets. Alright, yeah. Okay. Show my favorite one. Uh, got this long. 3 uh, a locking flex head. It's pretty good. It's It's been my favorite ratchet, you know. I only got it a couple months ago, like two months ago. But as you can see, I use it. And it holds up. <laughs> I did arc it off, off off a battery on accident. I was, I was working on my BMW and just... <laughs> yeah, it's whatever though. Carry a uh, three eighths craftsman. Oh, it's kind of tight. It's kind of old, but uh, yeah, I got it for cheap. Uh, carry smaller three eighths, uh, you know, because sometimes that one's too long. You know, it gets in the way, so it's just better have a small one. Uh, this is the half inch one. Um, is it SK? Uh, in the USA, or I hope so. <laughs> um, but it holds up. I'm putting like fucking like four four foot pipes on them, and like so it was standing on the other end, and it has not broken a tooth or anything. It's pretty much flawless. Uh, yeah, I I got it at a swap meet, so yeah. But yeah, it was a good purchase. Uh, Husky Ratchet, uh, quarter inch drive, uh, they're actually pretty good, these Husky ones, they've been alright, I've been using it for two years, and I've, I've cranked on it before, and, uh, it has a, it has an arc on there, or a scar on there from arcing, <laughs> I seem to do that a lot for some reason, <laughs> maybe I'm not paying attention or whatever it is, you know, oh, uh, one more Ratchet, uh, swivel head, uh, had this one for about five months, I would say, yeah, it's a hundred tooth, uh, it's Carlisle, it's Napa Tools, uh, this, I, I've had this one before I got that one, and I was like, yo, I gotta get another ratchet, like, this one's great, but the head is kind of big, and this one is, is very small, and, uh, this one gets in anywhere, just about everywhere. This one uh, saved my ass. <laughs> Actually, yesterday, um, I was doing shocks on a Ford van and uh, on a E three fifty. And uh, yeah, if you if any of you guys have ever changed one of those, this ratchet actually gets in there. Um, yeah, <laughs> it was amazing. <laughs> Wrenches in here. It's kind of hard to be have easy access in a tool bag, you know. Kind of got to dig around.
looking for all my wrenches. Uh, I think I got them all. Uh, carry a three fourths for a six O diesels. That's that's the size of the, size of the drain plug. Uh, yeah, but it's Napa USA. Um, I got I got my Napa wrenches from when I finished um when I finished automotive school. Uh, yeah, and then I carry a fifteen Napa. Uh, these are for the, for the new, new transit vans, the 2000, I think they're 2016 to 2017 transit vans, they're, they, they don't make the E350 anymore, and the size of the drain plug is a 15 mil. Uh, and I carry a snap-on, 5.8, uh, those are the sizes of the, the F, F, 250s and 350s uh yeah but i'm gonna use the closed end um i used to have a husky one that i used to for the oil changes but when i was like cranking down on it like trying to get a drain plug loose it twisted on me and i was like yeah no <laughs> so i just spent the money because i'm gonna be using it constantly like i use this thing almost every day yeah Half inch for air fittings on uh, air hoses when I have to make a repair or whatever, or when I'm working on an air compressor. Uh, most of the lines on there are half inch. And got a blue point 10 mil uh, flex head, uh, reversible. Um, I just got this on uh, Thursday, actually, it came in the mail. Um, we don't have a snap-on truck at work, so you have to order stuff online or find a snap-on truck. But for some reason, in Phoenix, it's kind of difficult to find a snap-on truck. <laughs> but uh, it's been pretty good. Use it for two days. It's made from Taiwan, but you know, no big deal. I I'm I'm okay with tools from Taiwan. You know, it's not a big deal. Uh, some of my screwdrivers. The ones that I'm worried of are like China. <laughs> China tools has has always let me down. Uh, but uh, my big screwdrivers, uh, Phillips and a flathead. Uh, <laughs> uh, they're both snap on. Uh, these are the main ones that I use. I have broken the Phillips one before, and I was like, oh no, like my heart sunk. <laughs> you know, you spend all this money on tools, and then you like it breaks on you. You're like, no. But uh, snap on, uh, snap on warranty it, and uh, yeah. It it took like a month though because I couldn't find a truck, and then I keep uh, some miscellaneous screwdrivers. Uh, the this one, the Husky one, uh, I have it because um, for the carburetors on air compressors, uh, the the flat end fits in there, and then just the Stanley, uh, I found it, keep it in the tool bag, and then you know just a just a smaller uh, Phillips. I got two tire gauges and an air check. Uh, um, this one I got because I lost the chrome one, <laughs> but it was it it was rolling around in my work truck. Uh, but yeah, but I got two and then air check for when I do service. I carry an air compressor with me, so if the tires are a little, I put air in them. Uh, got a bunch of extensions, you know, cause. You gotta be kind of versatile, or be able to get into those tight spaces and uh, out in the field. You know, the job has to get done regardless of of you know what's going on because it it is a con. I do work for a con construction company, so like, you know, like nothing can stay down for that long. You know, like if it breaks, fix it. You know, that's it. Bottom line, fix it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that. Um, a uh gosh a wobble half inch uh yeah it's gotten me out of a lot of uh tight situations and then it's a half inch uh impact uh but yeah just some miscellaneous three eighths uh and then i got a quarter inch right here just you know 
Just one. <laughs> uh, carry some uh, Milwaukee uh, channel locks. Uh, they're not that great. Uh, I'm not not really a fan of their their pliers or you know channel locks. Uh, the grip has been falling off on the big one, you know, but the little one has gotten me out of some really um, interesting situations. <laughs> uh, but yeah, they they do okay for like a starter kit, but for like the professional, nah, like get you know spend the money, you know get something good. Um, I picked up a stripper from Milwaukee. Just kidding. Uh, it's a wire stripper from Milwaukee. There's really good. I've had them for about a year and uh, still sharp, still cuts wire, you know. And like, you know, like the, the cutter right there usually gets like dull or starts like getting messed up. But the Mo the Milwaukee uh, strippers have been doing pretty good. Then I got these, um, I think they're like uh, power torque or something like that from O'Reilly's. They're just some crimpers. Um, I needed some really good crimpers and I hate using the ones that are with wire strippers. They're, I don't know, they're kind of stupid and I feel like the tool is too big for all that kind of... Uh, Maneuvering, trying to get in, stuff like that. Uh, okay, and on to the sockets. Oh. Yeah, come back. Okay. Uh, got some current drive, uh, metric and standard. Um, they're they're old Craftsmans. Uh, they're all USA and. They've been holding up really well, you know, because America is great and all, and they make make American steel that is um, American and it does American stuff, you know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> They've been good though. Um, got some impact uh, torque torque spits. That's the only way to go with with torque spits. Just get the impacts. Spend the money, get the impacts, because. Get into chrome ones are stupid. Like, don't waste your money. Like these, these have not break. These have not broken. Um, I use them with the, with the impact all the time, and I've had them for two years, and not one has broken. Not even the little one. <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, does its job. Um, the melon sockets. Uh, I've only used them a few times. Forklifts sometimes have them. Uh, mainly the nail, the nail guns that the crews use. Uh, I I do some repairs on those, but not you know like I'm not the one to call. Yeah, <laughs> it's uh yeah okay, and onto my three eights. Uh, I got the Husky three eights impacts. Uh, these ones are metrics from ten to nineteen. Obviously, this is an eighteen, but uh. There's a one that broke off, so the 19 just rolls around in the tool bag. Um, it's not a complete set. Uh, the 12 and the 16 are snap-on. Um, that's how I completed the set, because, you know, yeah, because America, again. <laughs> but, yeah, uh, they've been good. They've been good. I've had these for, I want to say, two years also, and I've I've taken motor, motors apart, you know done brake jobs, you know, transmissions, you know, stuff like that with them. And they've been holding up. They have not caused an issue or anything. That's a 19. Just rolling around. And then uh, I got this for my birthday uh, in May. Uh, the lead mechanic hooked it up. Uh, they're, they're power torques, you know. Not, not crazy, but yeah, they they've i've used them a bunch of times since may and they've gotten me out of tight spaces and you know uh, just saved a day uh i mainly have to use them on the bmw yeah or my bmw because yeah fucking germans you know not american and all that nonsense <laughs> and then i carry some spark plug sockets uh nothing special they're power torques you know um just in case uh 
you know, the Ford shoots out a spark plug. Uh, sometimes the thread is still left, so I can put it back in. But yeah, majority of the time you're 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 dead in the water with that. Uh, and then another spark plug socket for the generators and air compressors. Uh, yeah, just in case you know one of the spark plug messes up, I can you know re you know replace it. And then some Allen keys, you know, just some smaller ones, cause. Germans, yeah. Germans. Uh, I don't know. That's all I got. <laughs> and then uh, I got some some small screwdrivers and then a uh, flathead and a Phillips. Yeah, just just yeah. These are the tools that get me through just about anything. You know, I can repair just about anything out in the field. Uh, yeah, it's been good. Uh, got a marker. Yeah. To mark stuff to you know make sure that it goes on the right way again <laughs> and I use a husky tool bank uh, there's some miscellaneous stuff in there that I haven't taken out those are the ones that I don't usually carry around but they just been in a tool bag because they're at the bottom and they don't get in the way so <laughs> yeah but all right yeah that's my tool bag you know like these are these are the tools a field mechanic uses you know when 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 he doesn't have his work truck and uh yeah i mean and i go on trips with these tools you know like if i'm going out of town these are the tools i take and uh if you know if if i know i'm doing something pacific uh, i can mix and match my tools for my my for my tools in my work truck you know like I, I got bigger sockets in there you know i got half inch in there you know um i got bigger wrenches you know i got I got a whole set of wrenches in my work truck, you know, but I don't feel, you know, I need, I need the small wrenches to fit in the tool bag, so I can take wrenches with me, you know, I, having a full set of wrenches in a tool bag makes it r stupid heavy, so, you know, mini wrenches are the way to go, you know, um, and then you can use a bigger wrench to make it longer, and, yeah, so, that, those are the tools I use, um, uh, you guys have a good one.